Seriously, <laughs> my face. Like, I have a face. Stop focusing on the socks. Like, yes, okay, I have socks I need, I need full, I'm sorry. Would you rather look at socks than my face? <laughs> Bunch of junk. <sighs> Welcome back. It's been what th two months since I posted a video. Ooh, sorry, yuck. Um, but I I was busy, okay. Uh, <laughs> and I'm here to actually explain why I was gone, where I've been. If you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know where I've been and what's going on and what I was up to. But here I am telling you. I'm gonna kind of tell you a shorter version because there's a long version and I'm not gonna get into it. This story starts at the end of August. It's the weekend um, before school is about to start and it's Saturday and I've already had like a really stressful week trying to figure out what's going on with the school. It was a messy situation that we're not going to get into. We're not going to get into it right now. Maybe ever. <laughs> and um, I'm already having kind of a crappy weekend and I just, you know, I'm already super stressed if you just if you know you know <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just stressed out and my mom calls me to let me know that my grandma has been put in hospice care and they're giving her three weeks to three months and you know she's wondering if I was gonna come home to see her and you know I want to go I want to go home and see my grandma and see my family but I'm in Texas and they're in Nebraska that's that's a long drive and I recently drove from Alabama to Texas and that was um, like I think it ended up being like 12 hours and that was with the three kids and one injured foot and if you know I now have two injured feet and that's a longer drive and I just I like I don't know if I can manage it you know and I'm and school's about to start and I have to, well, I have to take them out of school and to do it because like, otherwise it's just gonna be and whatever I do it's gonna be a, sh a, a short trip it's gonna be a short trip no matter what I, I decide to do it's gonna be a short trip because I'm gonna have to drive up there and then spend a couple days and then what turn around and come back because I'm I'm not flying with three kids that's that's not happening I don't <sighs> you know so I'm just sitting there all Saturday night and Sunday trying to figure out what to do and you know people are saying you know like you should go home Morgan you really need to go see her and my husband's like Morgan you're gonna regret it if you don't and it's true I would but I'm just trying to figure it all out in my head seeing how it'd work when it kind of dawned on me that if I was homeschooling it's not a problem I could go home for as long as I want so Sunday afternoon, the day before school starts, I decide, hey, I'm gonna homeschool. Um, I texted a friend that um, homeschools in Texas because I don't know the rules, really. I know the rules in Georgia, and I did know that in Texas, um, preschool and kindergarten aren't required, um, but I didn't know what else required here. Turns out, not much. Texas is a very easy state to homeschool in. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, I want to make sure I did everything by the book and correctly, you know? Yeah, no. So um, that first week I um, was packing and we did homeschooling. We did reviewing because I didn't have the new curriculum yet, obviously, because I decided the day before to do it. Um, but I had, we were just reviewing what she had already learned last year and I ordered the stuff to be delivered to my mom's. So that way we could start there. And I did, because, you know, what if it did actually take a few days longer than I anticipated. So I'm glad I did. So I loaded up the kids and we drove to Nebraska. Not a straight shot. Nope, was not gonna do that. Um, we found a pet friendly hotel. Um, the cat stayed here. I did take Isabel with us. And we, so we split the trip in half. We um, got to about Oklahoma City, stayed in the night and then drove the rest the next day. And it was long. I even got pulled over for the very first time. I was only going nine over. I was kind of like, really? But I didn't get a ticket, so whatever, I guess, right? but still annoying. First time, first time ever. Gosh, I'm so glad I went home. I I needed to see my grandma, but I personally, as a mother, as a person, as a military spouse whose husband's on a short tour, I needed this trip. I needed it. I needed 
my family, I needed the support, I needed a break. I needed it so badly. <sighs> like once I finally got there, I was, I could breathe, you know, like I, not everything was on my shoulders anymore. Why am I getting so emotional? I didn't get emotional the first time, what the heck? Um, I was, you know, for so long, I've been this empty bucket trying to manage everything and fill my kids' buckets up. And towards the end, you know, <sighs> um, before I left, like, I was getting to the point where I didn't want to even play with my kids. I was just trying to make it through the day. Um, I needed it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get so emotional there, but, um, so I was home, I had a very lovely visit with my grandma, I saw her a couple times. And I saw my sisters, both of us. I went with my mom to go pick up my older sister, Danny, and my niece, Delilah, from the airport. And the whole drive there, she was so excited. She was clapping her hands, be like, I can't, I'm so excited. I can't believe all my girls are gonna be under one roof again. They're gonna be home, I'm so excited. And man, five minutes after we picked up Danny from the airport and us teasing her, my mom was like, I kind of want to turn around and send you back. <laughs> we were teasing her so much. Uh, we had such a great time. I had so much fun hanging out with both of my sisters, my family, seeing some friends. My kids had a great time playing at grandma's. They have like a pr pretty decent backyard with play set and sandbox and pool. So they were living it up over there. They were outside constantly. <laughs> um, not like here, because I mean, it was actually nice there. Here, they're outside for 25 minutes and they're like, mom, we are hot. Can we come inside? And I'm like, yeah, I'm hot too. Let's go. Like, it's only comfortable when you're playing in the water. <laughs> um, so we were, we were having the best time H home in Nebraska and I just <sighs> could breathe. It was, it was so nice and refreshing and Honestly, if you are a military spouse um, or any spouse whose husband or significant other is gone and you just, you know what, go home. There's no shame in going home. There was countless times where I thought about like just going home and seeing my family, but it was, was the injured feet, my dang injured feet that stopped me from going because it's all, it's hard to do. It's hard to manage. And I honestly, when I first injured my feet, like even like back in June, I don't think I would have been able to do it because I still could, I couldn't walk well. In August, I started walking better and I still have a long way to go with my feet and healing. But I will tell you, I, I don't think I would be nearly as improved as I am right now if I wouldn't have gone home. And for one week, the second week I was there, I just completely stayed off of them as much as possible. I was, whenever I wasn't up doing stuff with the kids, I was sitting in the recliner, feet up, just relaxing. And it helped my feet so much. Like they're significantly better than they were before I left. That's where I've been. That's what I was doing. I went home. I went home best decision I made in a long time going home. We're back home now, or we're back in Texas, which is home, I guess. Um, <laughs> focus on my face. We're back, we're back here, we're homeschooling. I'm still trying to figure it out. Homeschooling two kids is a lot different than homeschooling just one. Plus, you know, we got Penelope that's running around and doing stuff. So um, I'm doing some things. Been doing a lot of research on other homeschool, like what other homeschooling moms do. Reaching out to um, some friends that homeschool that I know, asking them what they do and how they do it. Um, we got a pretty loose routine going on right now. Um, we finish most of our schoolwork before lunch. After lunch, we save like the big projects and or history um, to do because those take longer. We get the main stuff done before lunch. So we can take as long as we need on science projects, art projects, history as we need. Um, but yeah, so uh, maybe I'll do a video of like what our routine is now and we'll see how much it changes later in the year. Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, we are doing the Good and the Beautiful program. Last year we did a Becca. I, I think I really, there's things I like about both of them, um, but I'm really, really enjoying the uh, Good and the Beautiful and um, I do believe it's, uh, it's cheaper, <laughs> but uh, whatever. I think both of the programs are good, but that's basically everything I need to tell you. 
Um, if you would like to keep up with this hot mess of a mother as she finishes the short tour out and homeschools her children, maybe hit subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and I will see you hopefully next week with a Nebraska vlog, if not a homeschooling vlog. Bye! Focus on my face. Focus. I really hope this wasn't like off focus as much as I think it is. So this story starts. So focus. Seriously, can you just thank you?